Hello, today we are going to be showing you how to clean the dining room. Teddy has graciously agreed to do a demonstration just like he did with the bathroom demo. So we're gonna use the SOP that I sell in the Freedom Mom store and go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is our dining room SOP. So Ted is going to start by, it says clearing off the dishes, napkins, and placing the dishes in the sink and the napkins in the trash. But that has already been done. We try to get our our little people to clear off their own dishes and set them over there. And as you can see, Lawrence is already hard at work <laughs> working on those breakfast dishes. So the next step is to wipe down the table, then the benches and the chairs. So Ted is gonna use this microfiber cloth. Ted, why don't you go ahead and put the Tabasco and pepper in the center first, thank you. Thankfully, there wasn't anything too sticky for breakfast this morning, it was just eggs and toast. Ted, do you have any pointers? Um, <laughs> the only one I can do is along with the um, clearing, like, plates and stuff off the table, you'd also want to get big stuff off the floor. Mm -hmm. Because that kind of fits in the same category, I think, of just preps that you can cleanly do everything at once and not have to stop in the middle of sweeping or wiping down the table. That's smart. Ted, how many years do you think you did this job in all? Four. Four? Yes. And how do we do it? Do we do it with a partner? Yes. So <laughs> one person is on table and one person is sweeping, alternating days or weeks. Got it. My partner was Robert. <laughs> Robert's 17 now. All right, now that's done, so I'm gonna do the benches, benches and chairs. And chairs. Yeah, can you also please do the high chair tray for me? Yes, ma'am. Thanks. And as you notice, he is just sweeping under the floor because sweeping, or he's wiping onto the floor because he will be wiping, or <laughs> I can't talk this morning. He will be sweeping the floor after he wipes the table and the benches and chairs. How about that? Okay, so next step is to sweep around and underneath the table. Ted is going the extra mile and putting the chairs on top of the table. That is definitely something that the current crew does not do. Those don't fit. Yeah, that might not work. I'll just move them off to the side. Okay, that that's good. And I always move the benches out. Smart. Sweep under the table and then move them back in and some done. Very smart. Um divide into portions and use your favorite dustpan. <laughs> so I go halfway in on one side, sweep out the long ways, and basically watch where the broom starts and ends with wise, lengthwise, so from here to here on the part of the floor. Okay. And you can see that there's this nice clean line of just stuff. Very nice. And then when I'm going to the other side, I'll sweep along the floor this way, mm -hmm. just to get anything I might have missed, and then start getting the stuff under the table on this side. Okay. Let me ask a question, Ted. Yes, ma'am. We had scrambled eggs for breakfast this morning. One if you saw, things. if you saw chunks of scrambled egg on the floor, would you try to sweep that, or would you just pick it up? If they're big chunks, I'd pick them up. If they're little chunks, you just don't put any weight on the broom and let it just very lightly sweep it up. Gotcha. Same with pasta. <laughs> pasta is even harder than eggs, in my opinion. Okay. And you just have to very slowly and lightly work it. Gotcha. It takes a little longer, and usually it's easier to get a dog or pick it up yourself. <laughs> the dog. I'll get all the little piles. Combine them into one big pile. Another thing is getting all the dust off the bottom of the broom mm -hmm. before you sleep. Because it'll just, it'll just combine with the other pile and it'll make it really hard. I do it before I sleep. And that's a trick I just learned like a year ago. So. So do you still have any chores that involve sweeping? Mopping. Sweeping and then mopping? Yes, ma'am. 
Ted sweeps and mops the laundry room and the family room every week. So now that under and around the like base of the table is done, I'm just gonna go back once around, especially the legs. Great technique tip. Make sure you get the stuff on, off of the other side of the burn. Okay. And then you're done. Great. Well, okay, so yes. Okay, so the last step, the last two steps are put away the broom, and then the final step is push in the chairs and the benches. So we have two chairs pushed in, perfectly clean dining room after breakfast. Thank you, Ted. You're welcome.